Now, a man who has overcome three types of cancer says he's on cloud nine after conquering the South Pole in a 138-mile charity trek. Yes, Patrick McIntosh had a cup of tea to celebrate his arrival at the Pole on the anniversary of Captain Scott's iconic expedition. The 58-year-old who lives near Gatwick took on the challenge after being treated for bowel, skin and prostate cancer, all in the space of just 13 months. Delighted to say Patrick joins us now. Patrick, welcome. You did Thank a you. lot of the journey on the skis alongside you there. I did. Why? What made you want to do it? Well, having survived, uh, having my bowels removed, my prostate removed and pipe work and stomach muscles and skin removed I thought that I needed to give something back to society and I thought the only way I could uh, bring awareness to early diagnosis of cancer was to do something pretty extraordinary and to prove that you can get through cancer and carry on a relatively normal life by walking to the South Pole. And this was extraordinary it was 138 miles as we said for charity how agonizing was it? It was brutal uh, there's no other way of it describing it walking across Antarctica is the most brutal unforgiving uh, thing you can possibly do uh, and uh, yes I wouldn't it's never going to be a high tourism event. What was the worst part? I think the worst part was walking in thick cloud for day after day not being able to see not having no idea where the horizon was with a 50 mile an hour wind blowing in your face minus 40 dragging a sledge uh, and, and relentlessly going on and driving yourself mentally it was far more challenging than physical. But when cancer struck you down three times, did you despair? Did you think, you know, life was over? Well, I suppose I did to some extent, but also I then thought to myself, well, it's extraordinary. So my bowels were removed and I thought, well, that's amazing. And then 12 months later to find that they had to take out my prostate and I was still alive, I thought, well, I'm, I'm a walking miracle. Therefore, I must do something to put back to society what I've, uh, I'm lucky enough to be here. And so I thought, well, if I can raise awareness, if I can encourage people to eat better foods and to take more exercise, because that is part of the battle about cancer. It's about trying to save the self, health service as well. It's the fact that we cannot carry on living as we are at the moment because the health service simply cannot afford to look after us this way. But if we all take responsibility and awareness of what we're doing and we catch it early, we eat better foods, take more exercise, then I think we can genuinely save the National Health Service, but most importantly, save ourselves. And that's what I did it for. Doing it for cancer charities, of course, and it doesn't stop there because alongside you is a piece of equipment you'll be using on the next charity. Yes, so the, next thing about that. so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk, do the Engadine Marathon in, on the 8th of March, and that's the world's largest ski marathon. I thought, because I'm so fit, this is the only time in my life that I can do this. So I'm skiing 28 miles across uh, uh, the Swiss uh, mountains, uh, and uh, I'm doing it obviously for bowel cancer and prostate cancer and for uh, the KMG foundation which we've created to uh, give this awareness message and to raise money. You are an amazing man sir we wish you all the very best Thank both you very marathon wise much. and health wise <laughs> in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us.